Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on guys? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here and today we're answering your questions. Today's question is on traveling in Major League Baseball. What's it like to travel? How do you travel? How do you get around the country? Um, we're going to get into all of those details right now. But before we do that, in order to understand how completely awesome travel is in the Major Leagues, you have to understand first how bad travel is in the minor leagues. And so let's go just a couple minutes of talking about minor league travel, because then you'll really appreciate when you get the call up and they say you're going to the big leagues, how amazing that is. Okay, minor league travel. There's two ways to travel. You travel by bus, crappy bus usually, and you travel by plane. The lower you are in the minors, the worse travel typically is, the worse the bus is, the longer the trips are usually, the more you're going to travel by bus. The higher you get in the minor leagues, usually the better the travel is, and the more you travel by plane, which isn't always better. Okay, So bus rides are typically in really crappy old buses, again let's go down to the lower minor leagues, I've been on bus rides where the AC breaks down, the bus breaks down. I've talked about that story before, traveling back from Canada when I was in Eugene, Oregon. Bus breaks down, you gotta spend all night sitting on this gross bus, no AC, or well, the thing doesn't work anyway. Um, just terrible, okay? The bus trips are usually really, really long. It's not uncommon to have 10, 11, 12 hour bus rides sometimes in the minor leagues. You're traveling throughout the night so when the game ends usually at like 10 o'clock you end up eating showering getting on the bus at 11 and then you've got a bus all the way to the next city and it takes a long long time sometimes they're not all that long sometimes you get five six seven eight hour bus rides sometimes if you're really lucky you get a short one but usually you get longer ones you get into the city and then you've got to play that day and so every like four days or so you're doing this and it gets exhausting when you get to the higher levels of the minor leagues Usually the buses get a little bit nicer. When I was with the Orioles in AAA, we took a sleeper bus, which you could actually sleep on. They had beds, and that was the best. I love that. You just lay down and go to sleep. It's very comfortable. I would do that all day, actually over plane flights a lot of the times. So the game went in, you jump on the bus, um, you go to sleep, you have a little TV and your little cubby there, and boom, you wake up and you're there. It's awesome. So I actually liked that a lot. But usually, that was only with one team. Usually, you'll just take a nicer bus, um, you, you'll typically have someone sitting next to you, especially in the low minor leagues, especially if you're a young guy. As you become a veteran minor leaguer, sometimes you can tell, hey, beat a geek, and you know you can have the seat next to you open, and that's much better. There's plenty of times in the low minors where it'd be like me, and then like maybe Casey Smith right next to me. He's a large fellow, and uh, and we would have to go with like no AC. If you guys watch out front hitting. You know who Casey Smith is. Uh, and so we'd go a long ways with no AC, like crammed in like this. Wasn't the most comfortable thing, okay? So that's how bus rides work. Plane flights, a lot better, um, except in the PCL. So in the Pacific Coast League, which is AAA, uh, one league, and then there's the, the um, International League. International League, usually buses, at least for me, all my teams, Pacific Coast League would fly. And flying is is can sometimes be better, but not always, because you have to take the first flight out super early in the morning. So you gotta wake up sometimes to get, you know, let's say it's a six o'clock flight. You gotta be at your stadium at say like 4.30ish, because you gotta then bus over to the airport. You gotta get there probably at least an hour early. So you go to bed, maybe after a night game, you know, you go to bed at like one-ish, you gotta get up at like three something. Is it even worth going to sleep? Sometimes we just stayed up the whole night. It's brutal. You got connecting flights. You got to fly to a city, get off the plane, wait, get on another plane, fly again. And remember, these are not chartered flights in the minor leagues. You have to go through, just like everyone else, security. So you got to get there really early. It's just, it's not that fun. You're doing it every four to eight days. So not great. Okay, so that's how all travel in the minor league works. Now let's go to the big league since that's what this video is about. But you have to understand that to know why the big leagues is awesome. First off, you're going to fly everywhere, pretty much. Except if it's like right, like when I was with the Padres, we took a nice, you know, bus to LA. How long is that? It's not even two hours, I don't believe. 
right? And so it's a pretty quick bus ride. Other than that, we're flying, okay? And when you fly, you fly in a nice chartered plane, beautiful plane. We used two planes during my time there. One of the planes, the one we took most often, almost every time except for once, was basically like being in first class. So when you get on the plane and you start walking down the aisle, well, at first, actually, there were like these big tables with a couple of seats around them. And that's where guys could just kind of hang out, maybe play cards. And then as you kept going back, there was just two seats on each side. And they were big, like first class seats, not your normal airplane seat, really not even like a first class seat. They were bigger than a first class seat, okay? They were super comfortable. Um, and so that was the best. You're nice and comfy, which is great. You don't have to go through security or anything like that, right? So when you get to the plane, you drive literally like, it feels like you almost drive right up to the plane. You get off of, your bus, you take a bus when the game ends, you jump on a bus, you drive right to the airport. You get off the bus, like basically right next to the plane. There's a little table there. There's someone with, you know, the little wand thing. They go, okay, you look good. Get on the plane, right? That's how, it literally takes 30 seconds. You walk up there, they go, they might look in your bag real quick. Okay, cool. And then you go right up onto the plane. A 30 second process, so much better. Very quickly, the team can jump right on the plane and boom, you're off. It's excellent. Okay, so there's no waiting um, or any of that. And so that's one of the best parts about being in the big leagues is that the second the game ends, you shower, you get a bite to eat, you get dressed, you get on the bus, you zip right to the airport, you zip onto the plane, boom, see you later. Now you get into that city usually late at night. So say your game ended at, let's say 10 o'clock. You'll get into the city. Usually, let's say it took you an hour to get showered and eat and get to the airport. Let's say you take off by 1130. I mean, you're gonna get in around say two, three in the morning, again, depending on where you're flying. But then you'll go to bed and you can sleep the next day because you don't have a night, you'll have a night game. So you can sleep from like three, four o'clock to say like, you know, almost one o'clock if you wanted to. You're not, probably not gonna sleep that long, but if you really wanted to, you could sleep till one, get up and go right to the field, right? And so I would usually sleep, let's say I got in at or three or four, try to get eight hours of sleep, get up, eat breakfast, go right to the field and play, get ready to play, right? So that is the best part about the major leagues. There's no having to wake up at three o'clock, get on a plane, fly, do connecting flights and all that stuff. There's no more of that. Um, as far as being on the plane, there are no real rules. It's kind of just your plane. I've told this story before. I'll tell it real quickly. When I was with the Padres, they used to have a guy, <laughs> well, a, couple, a couple different people, I've seen this happen a few times, would get like a cardboard box. They would sit at the top of the, at the front of the plane. And when the plane started to go down the runway fast and then take off, they would slide on a cardboard box all the way down to the back of the plane. So I've seen that happen a few times. Also on, on our flight, we'd have like a giant, um, I guess you'd call it a boom box back, back in the day. And uh, we'd play music like pretty loudly. And so it's not like your normal flight, right? And so it's, it's just much more comfortable. And it's one of the perks of being in the big leagues, I guess. You have great travel. There's a lot of travel. One thing about, uh, well, really all professional sports, but you know, baseball, you're playing, it's a long season, you're doing a lot of travel. And so these, these differences between the minor leagues and the major leagues make a huge, huge difference on your body because you're able to sleep better. You're able to eat better because you're not, you know, on a rush. You're not always running around. So all these things have a really big effect on, on you as a player and just keeping you healthy and keeping you going throughout a long season. So those are the main differences between travel, again, bus and plane, Minors versus majors, and then when you're in the minors, it's, it's low minors versus, versus high minors. Um, I got to the big leagues pretty quickly. I got there during my second season of professional baseball. Then I got sent back down to the minors. And uh, you think minor league travel is bad when you're there. You're like, man, this isn't that great. But I mean, I don't know. This is all I know. Then you go to the big leagues and see what that's like. Then you go back to the minor leagues and it's like, oh no, this is the worst. So one suggestion, if you're going to go to the big leagues, just stay there. Don't go back to the minors. That's my suggestion. Good luck.
That's all we got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.